Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to open up and show you everything that comes with this Christmas extension pack for the Happy Planner. All right, so if any of you are wondering what is all involved in this little Christmas package, I am about to show you. I know a lot of people have picked these up. They have already started um, their documentation and journaling and tracking in this, um, but some people weren't able to find these. So I wanted to show you the one that I got. Now I gave one of these away during Vlogtober and I was very happy to do so because I got them on sale and I used my coupons and things like that. So I am about to show you what's what as far as this goes. And I'm going to probably pop it into my happy planner. Um, the remainder, no, what do I have? I'm probably, I have Christmas going on over here. I'm probably going to put it in my happy notes budget notebook because I don't have my happy planner right here. So in other news, I am finishing up some Christmas crafting for my holiday 2019 Etsy paper collection. And by the way, my store name has changed. It is Lil Paper Treats Co. Um, so if you land there and you're confused, um, the name change was intentional. I just think it's cuter and it kind of takes into consideration like all the different things that I want to put in there. But how about this cutout? I have to actually cut this out. Retro Christmas Cookbook. So what I'm going to do is I am going to work on a couple of my little Christmas notebooks. These are just handmade and they're full of blank paper. Really nice paper, by the way. Um, the feel is great. Um, and I'm going to do some cutouts and put this on the cover. And I thought what would really be cute is to have a traveler's notebook type or just regular notebook, whatever you want to call it. It is saddle stitched, um, really basic, but to have one that you keep track of all of your favorite holiday recipes in. So, I just thought that was the cutest cutout, so I'm going to use that, and that will be up very soon. So let's get into this extension pack. I did get this at Michael's, and I can't remember how much it was. It was like $10.99 or, I don't know, somewhere along those lines. But like I said, I did get it on sale, and I was able to use a coupon on top of that. So on the back, it gives you kind of a really nice overview of what all the dividers and everything looks like. So maybe I'll put that aside just in case I have to go through it. But I thought that I could show you up close what everything looks like. So this is my budget planner that I'm using. This is a Happy Notes notebook. And actually, I'm not going to put it in here because it wouldn't stay in here. But I don't know if any of you guys feel the same way. And I'm not trying to be, I don't know, that person. But I am really kind of getting bored with the whole wrong wrong cover collection and I love it I think the artwork is amazing it just it made me so happy when I bought it but now I'm like all right I'm ready for something new something fresh and um yeah I'm just not feeling the whole um <clears throat> I guess wrong wrong artwork right now at least for the happy planner so the first divider here is for menu and it says happy Christmas and it's really colorful as you would expect any Happy Planner product to be. I absolutely love it. I am loving traditional colors this year and I'm hoping to move all of our home decor into more reds and greens instead of the neutrals that I'm always kind of flocking toward every year recently. Um, this is one of the insert pages. So as you can see, it says holiday menu planning and has a date and it has a little spot for the menu underneath. So you have four, eight, 12, 16 menus, 16 parties or get togethers to plan for. Now, if you guys have more than 16 get togethers that you do and host and you have to come up with a menu for during the holidays, I need you to comment below because I need to tell you how impressed I am because that is a lot of holiday entertaining. But 
Um, here is where it gets really fun. And this is holiday recipe four. And it has a space for ingredients and preparation. And then of course, your cooking notes over here as far as how many it serves, the main ingredients, difficulty, prep time, cook time, temperature, notes, serve with and rating. So as far as how you would rate it or how your family rates it. And there's several sheets for that, which is really, really nice. So the next divider is party and it says, oh, what fun. And I love the background. I love the old fashioned uh, type script. I just think it's so cute and it's just screams holiday to me. So you've got that divider and then here you have your party planner. So again, you have a space for menu, but this one is a little bit more substantial because it also includes space for your guests. You have a, a guest list here. Um, or if you just put down like a family name, it says number of guests next to it. You have notes, total number of guests, decorations, activities, music, and entertainment, the date, the time, and the location that your party took place. So there are several pages. And what's nice is you have an entire flip side that is just for notes. So you can talk about maybe some memory keeping or what you did right, or you know, maybe something you would do differently next year. So you can come back on this and have this be a nice little archive of the whole holiday season. So the next tab is Cookie Exchange, which is so cute. We used to have one of these at work and we don't any longer, and I'm sad about it because it was really fun. We were in charge of making two dozen cookies for every person in the exchange, which sounds like a lot, but literally when you're baking that many, I mean, you can, in my opinion, you might as well make either two dozen or 20 dozen. I mean, you're still using the same ingredients. You, It was the same cookies for everybody. So this is ingredient substitution, sugar, white flour, eggs, oil or butter, and the substitutions that you can use below, which is really nice um, in case you need something like that in your kitchen to kind of help you out a bit. And then this is helpful tips for a fun cookie exchange. This is really nice. So if you're interested in hosting one or maybe your cookie exchange, exchange is struggling, whether it's with friends, family, or coworkers, maybe you can kind of um, incorporate some of these tips in here to give it a new life or just start it. So on the flip side, you start with your very first cookie recipe. So there's a place for ingredients, directions, and there's several um, spaces for these uh, that you can record a couple different pages. So I need to get what? So you have a whole list of baking ingredients and then party supplies, which is really nice. So if you are somebody who's doing a cookie exchange and you're attending a cookie exchange party or you're hosting one, I think that's really nice to kind of give you that column of things that you need to pick up and then a whole list of who's coming. So um, a guest list, total guests, you know, and things like that. So this little uh, tab is for cards and gifts, which is where you probably get into um, the real deal for your holiday tracking. Um, and this is adorable with all the Santa faces. So you have your Christmas card list. Now, I don't know if you guys still send um, Christmas cards in the mail or if you're somebody that maybe does them electronically or sends emails out. Um, I have friends that do all of the above. And I have to say that my favorite is still receiving a, a card in the mail. Um, I like to open them up. Sometimes I like to take them apart at the end of the season so I can do some kind of paper crafting with the front of the card the next year. There's all kinds of things that you can do. Um, but this is your Christmas card list here and you have so many spaces for that. And then here, this page starts on your gift list. So we happen to have a really, really long gift list because we buy for immediate family, extended family, um, and coworkers and friends. And so it does become quite long and it's definitely something that a lot of people need to organize. Um, and then you have stocking stuffer ideas. So I think what we're going to do at work this year, we did something different last year where we actually chose names. We had a secret Santa. And then this year we were going to choose names again and do homemade gifts. But what we ended up landing on, and it was totally my idea, so if it flops, I'm going to be to blame, is I thought, wouldn't it be cute if we did a stuffed stocking gift exchange? So everything that you buy for that person, whether it's one thing or 20 little things, whatever it could be, um, you know, and when I say little things, it could be like worth a dollar. We haven't set our limit yet, but it's probably gonna be around $25. 
because uh, you're just getting one person's name, but everything has to fit in one stocking. So you also, also part of their gift is the stocking itself. So I thought that was really cute. And here you have some stocking stuffer ideas and who they're for. So you have some different categories that you can write the person's name down and you can track everything that you would put in their stocking. So here, this is a tab that says memories and the divider says making merry memories and again their dividers are adorable so these are just amazing um and these you can use year after year so if you actually purchase this kit this year um i'm sure they'll come out with a new one next year but if you don't necessarily want all the insert pages or maybe you make your own you can hold on to the dividers and use these again year after year but here is um several pages for favorite memories um i probably won't be doing this as much here or if i do it'll be very light because i am planning on doing the december daily this year so that is where i'll be adding photographs and things like that so here you have some pages for holiday traditions which is so nice and that is such a beautiful thing to pass on to um, kids nieces and nephews um, whomever in your family would be interested in you know kind of holding on to that the things that you guys have always done or the things maybe that you plan to do and you want to make a tradition there's so many options for that and then here your last um, tab and divider says notes and it's just peppermint candy canes which is adorable and then you have several sheets of note paper so I'm not going to flip every one of them, but you've got lots of those. And then lastly, in this kit, you have a couple pages of stickers, which is super, super nice. These are um, the see-through ones, which is great because you can use them on anything that way. And then here are the opaque ones that you can put um, in a planner or wherever. These are really actually very nice. So I will absolutely use these this year. I will not pass these up. These are good quality stickers and I love a good quality sticker, especially if it comes in a kit. So that is the entire extension pack. I think that it is well worth it. I, like I said, I think it was $10.99, but it was on sale 30% off, I believe. And then I also had a coupon and my coupon had to be at least 20% off. So I got these at a steal and I think that they are really going to enhance my planning throughout the season. Um, Cause typically what I do is I make a separate planner for December and you know, keeping track of all the holiday stuff and but this actually makes it very easy for me to follow along and I really like the prompts. I like how it's set up and it's definitely something that I think is very user friendly, at least for my life. So I'm going to use that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have this extension pack, I hope that you're enjoying it as much as I am when I'm flipping through it. And um, yeah, if you do another system, let me know in the comments what kind of planner you use for the holidays, if anything. Maybe you don't even write all those things down. I know some people just don't. They make a little list and when they're done with it, they pitch it. You know, they have their Christmas list and it's on maybe a piece of scratch paper and then when they're done shopping, there goes the list. I love tracking stuff like this. I think it's so much fun and it's just something I enjoy doing over the holidays. So this is just perfect for me. So again, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.